is, of course, uh, the unveiling of the blue plaque uh, for Sarah Parker Remond. I am going to open us up and just talk to you guys a little bit about black travel and how much Sarah was way ahead of what people were doing during that time. So just to give you some context, by the time she came over here, slavery wasn't abolished in the United States yet. And not only that, she was born free, which was not happening during that time. So slaves very seldomly got to travel. And if they did travel, they were not only going from one plantation to the next. Oh my gosh, I'm so honored just to be here. Of course, being African-American, but an African-American who lives in London, being able to honor her, which was the same kind of story or the same kind of journey it's just beautiful to see because it allows me to know that not only are you guys recognizing black people everywhere but also being welcoming to African Americans. Her story is something that's in there because when it comes to black travel our history is not written anywhere. Our history is left out of museums, our history is left out of the history books but she was literally a pioneer for that fact. Sarah is someone who I have uh, always respected greatly and the, the fact that she was at Bedford College in the 1860s connects with me a lot because I was at Bedford College in the 1960s. I'm so glad that there are many more people who are going to know about her now. It's my honour and privilege to be here from Camden Council today. Um, this plaque is really testament to Sarah as an inspiration. Uh, she was inspiring from a, from a voice of hope. She gave a voice to people that really needed it and were voiceless at the time. And she championed everything that I love about her as a person. What does it mean for any of us when we look up and we see a statue that, that, that reminds us of who we are, of people everywhere that look like us? What does that do for the young people in society to see someone that looks like them, that speaks the same as them and that represents what they stand for? And I think that's why plaques like this are so important. In her first year at Bedford College, Sarah studied ancient and modern history, English literature, French, Latin, elocution, vocal music, mathematics and geography. That Sarah studied Latin and ancient history is noteworthy as alongside the sciences, these subjects were often traditionally seen as male subjects. Today means that we get to pay a fitting tribute to a black woman who did everything in her position and her power to resist injustice. Not only that, she did everything in her power to excel in whatever capacity, discipline she wanted to, whether it's education and then later becoming a medic. She didn't stop. Sarah Parker Mon studied here in Grenville Street at number six, Grenville Street. Number six Grenville Street is actually over there, where that crowd is. You see it says down in court. That's where her house was when she lived in the 1850s on that site. The site was then, or the house was then knocked down, and that place was built on top of it. So when we thought about where to put the plaque, it made sense to put the plaque in Grenville Street. But right here, you have a university block, a university accommodation block. So it links into education. Thank you, Tony, and thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you, Nubi and Jack. I was interested in Sarah, especially because when she toured here and spoke in the abolitionist cause, she, one of her speeches was about Margaret Garner, the, the slave woman who killed her child, killed her daughter, rather than allow her to be taken back into slavery by the slave catchers who were chasing her from Ohio. This was the subject of Sarah's oratory in her life uh, as an activist in this country. Granville Street, we remember Granville Street too because this is where she got caught up in a very important court case. And what happened to Sarah was that she wanted to get a visa from her government so she could travel to Paris. So she went to the consulate of the, or the consul figure of the US government here, and he denied her that visa on the grounds that she was not a citizen of the United States, although she had a document saying she was a citizen of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And that, I think, that entanglement of racism with citizenship law, with who can travel and who can't travel, with who can cross the border and who can't cross the border, who's recognized as belonging 
to a nation and who's excluded from belonging to a nation. These things are very much still with us. You've got to remember, this lady was she rose to become an abolitionist, a suffragette, a woman's right campaigner, a medical doctor, a lecturer here. She actually lectured here, ladies and gentlemen. So we are honouring an extraordinary woman in International Mum. I think today went pretty good because we had a decent crowd, maybe a 70, 100 people or so. It was nice weather. And we had some very interesting contributions from the speakers about who Sarah Parker and Mon was. Today you saw there was a wonderful turnout, multicultural turnout, diverse turnout. And it's very important that all cultures, all groups are sharing in this educational experience. Um, otherwise we're just pre preachers to converted. And that's not what we want to do. Woo! Let's do it! There you go. Sarah Parker Raymond, African American abolitionist, lecturer, suffragist, polyglot, UCL and Bedford College graduate, lived at 6 Granville Street, later became an obstetrician in Italy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.